Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some logic functions in Excel 2010. And these are functions which we've seen before in older versions of Excel, but things like the if, and, or, not, if error, things you would find in the logical category of the insert function dialog box. Now, I've got a blank worksheet here, and I'm going to set us up with a little bit of data that we can practice with. So I'm going to create an employee one. I'm going to create a random higher date using the date function. And I'll do a ran between for the year 2000 to 2009, a random for the month, and a random for the day. There we go, get a date. Now for years of service, I'll go ahead and calculate today's date minus their higher date, and let me go ahead and enclose this in parentheses, divided by 365.25 to confirm the number of years of service. And for the title, we'll have a few different titles. How about, um, we'll have like admins, admin sales and support. So we'll go ahead and do a admin pay rate equals, let's do another RAND between, something between $10 an hour and $25 an hour. And for hours, let's also do RAND between something between 35 and 50. Excellent. And let's go ahead and extrapolate this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take my employees, and let's go ahead and get uh, 15 employees, all with various higher dates and years of service. Admin sales support. Let's give everybody a title. Let's bring in pay rate and hours. Excellent. And I'm going to lock these in. I'll just go ahead and take where I've used these RAM between functions, select the cells. Using my right mouse key, click, drag away, drag back. Copy here as values only. So now those are locked in and they won't change. So I've got a mixture of different employees, different titles, various years of service, pay rates, and the number of hours a week they have worked. And this is all set up for the functions that I want to use here in these couple of videos. Okay, so for pay, I'm going to, I'm going to create an if function. Equals if. And there's three parameters here. The logical test, what if it's true, what if it's false. So, so in order to accurately calculate pay, I do need to know if the employee has worked overtime or not. So my logical test is going to be if their hours are less than or equal to 40, then what if it's true? If their hours are less than or equal to 40, their pay is simply going to be their pay rate times the number of hours they worked, comma. Now, what if that's a false statement? If it's a false statement, then the employee must have worked more than 40 hours. So if false, I'm going to take their pay rate and multiply it by 1.5 to get time and a half. And then I'm going to multiply that by the difference of the hours they worked minus 40. Okay. So pay rate times 1.5 times the hours they worked over 40. So somebody who worked 50 hours, 50 minus 40 would get 10 hours of overtime. So that's their overtime pay. And of course, I do need to add all of this to their base pay, which is going to be their basic pay rate times 40. Because if they've worked more than 40 hours, they're just, they get base pay just on the 40. Then I can close off the parentheses and press Enter. Let's autofill this down. And we should be able to quickly confirm this. So somebody who was making 20 bucks an hour worked 50 hours. Let's see, they did 10 hours of overtime. Okay, Their overtime pay rate would be 20 times 1.5, which is 30. 30 times 10 is 300. So 300 of overtime pay. And then their base pay would be $20 times 40 hours, Okay, which is $800. 800 base, 300 overtime. $1,100 total. So now we have an accurate pay for each employee using the if function. Okay, so for the bonus column, I want to do a combination of and and or functions. So, in fact, let me go ahead and capitalize this so it stands out to us. If years of service is greater than five and the employees in sales or support, they get overtime pay times years. Otherwise, they get base pay times years. So in order to get the higher bonus rate, an employee has to be in either sales or support 
and also has to have more than five years of service. So as an example, look at my employee two for a moment. Employee two is in sales, but has under two years of service. Employee three is in support and has almost 10 years of service. This means employee number three is gonna be getting the higher bonus rate. Employee number two will not get the higher bonus rate. They're gonna get a lower bonus rate because they don't have that five year of service requirement, even though they do have the title of sales. Okay, so this is the word problem up here. I'm gonna keep it up here invisible and I'm gonna go ahead and write this in our first bonus cell. And then once written correctly, I can autofill it down. Okay, so I'm going to start with an if function, and my logical test is going to involve an and function. So right here for logical test, I'll go ahead and type in an and, opening and closing parentheses. That'll be part of my logical test. And then I'll go into that and function. The two things that need to be true are years of service, greater than five, comma, and then it's going to be an or and employees in sales or support. So inside of my and function, I'm going to have an or function opening and closing parentheses. And for the or function, two things can be true. Title can be equal to sales, comma, or title can be equal to support. And notice those are in quotation marks. So keep in mind here, all of this for my if function is the logical test. If C2 is greater than 5 and D2 is equal to sales or D2, to, D2 is equal to support, if all of these things are following the rules, the and and the or, then that's a true statement, which means I can go to the end of this, press a comma. Actually, I need to end those parentheses. Comma. Now I'm at the logical statement of true. So if these things are true, then the employee's bonus is going to be their pay rate times 1.5 times years of service, comma. Now if it's false, that must mean that the employee wasn't working five years or more, or more than five years, or they were not in the sales and support. So if that's false, then they're Pay, their, their bonus is simply going to be pay rate times years of service. Let me just scroll to the right a little bit so that it all fits. Okay, So rather long formula here, but that's the end of that function. So here's my if function, logical test. And C2 is greater than 5, or D2 is equal to sales, or D2 is equal to support. If that's true, then it's going to be pay rate times 1.5 times years of service. Otherwise, it's simply pay rate times years of service. Press the Enter key, auto fill down. And then, of course, you could you know, confirm a couple of these to make sure you're accurate. Let me switch over to currency here. So, for instance, I see that my employee, what is it, employee two here, is only getting a bonus of about 30 bucks, okay? Because that's that, they've only been there for two years. Even though they were in sales, they were not there for more than five years, so their pay rate is really just $15 times two. That's where we're getting that $30 or $29.77. Now compare that to employee one. Employee one was there for more than five years, but notice they weren't in sales or support. So once again, pay rate is $21 times simply years of service. So almost 10 years, about $210, accurately $207.73. Now let's look at employee three. Employee three has been there for more than five years, and they're in one of the two positions, support or sales, they're in support. So they're gonna get time and a half, which means $20 times 1.5, which is $30. $30 times 9.78. $30 times 10 is $300, so their bonus is a little under $300. Sure enough, 293.31. So it's kind of a complicated bonus structure, but that's us using AND functions and OR functions within an IF function. And then for total pay, I'll simply take their pay plus any bonus, auto fill it down. And there you go, a little uh, demonstration of some logic functions.